Falcha and welcome back to the farm. In this very sad episode, we have had to make the hard decision that we are going to have to sell up and move to a different farm. Basically, the bug that we've been having, if you watch my live stream, I think the stream itself was slightly uh, skewed with terms of the resolution, so I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, but basically the bug at the moment means that the only contract we're ever seeing is the field 11 contract to harvest the corn, which we can't do without that causing lots of damage um, to the surrounding, surrounding land. Because if you look at the map, field 11, which is up here, basically has no way to access it without damaging anyone's crops so we can't really do that contract and it seems to be the only one we're ever given however on the plus side i have spoke to some other farmers and they have kindly loaned me a truck to get our equipment moved so you see i've got the trusty ford loaded up we've got the Fiat loaded up, we've got our moa, we've also got our plough and our uh, cedar loaded up here. Um, obviously the baler we will return. Um, in terms of the uh, pallet fork there and stuff like that, we'll just sell that um, and try and get some money back. Um, we've also got the a loan of, sorry, sorry we've also got a loan of a sheep uh, pen here, we've got a tailor to sell our sheep, so we've got on our tractor and we've got the trailer so we can get our sheep loaded up and get them sold. We will be selling our trailer as well um, and obviously our chickens and we'll be selling our land. We also don't need the barrel anymore and we have our uh, harvester loaded up on our little trailer as well. So really Today's plan is to sell the land, sell our sheep and various parts to try and recoup some of the losses that we have at the moment. And then um, I want to see about getting a new, because we're going to be moving, we don't know where we're going to be staying yet, I think it's probably worth getting ourselves a mobile home. Now I did see one in the in the I'll be under miscellaneous uh, in the shop. So I'm just gonna see how much money that home is. Um it's a little wooden uh, caravan type home. Yep, that's there. So it's only eight hundred, so that's actually a very good price for us. Um the other thing we need to consider as well is we do need to get ourselves a car or vehicle of some sort. Um one that's powerful enough to pull the trailer with the harvester on it and um, obviously a lot of these will do and um, but we'll see how much money we have um, once the time comes so to start off with what we'll do is we'll sell our chickens and um, so we'll miss you guys and you will be going on to better things so what we'll do is we'll come into here and I think we can sell our chickens from here so if we get rid of our roosters um, Sadly, we probably will be making a loss <laughs> from the chickens, um, but it is what it is. We're just going to have to, say, recruit as much as we can, and yeah, let's see, so make sure we get rid of them all. And lastly, our couple of little chicks, and away we go. So that then allows us to then sell this chicken pen. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to load up the uh, sheep, so if I click here, we want to load up all of you guys into the trailer. Yep, that's fine. And we also want to move the two rams and get rid of our lambs as well. Oops. So you guys are all nicely loaded up in there. You're all ready to go. Um, so yeah, so now we can sell the sheep pen and the chicken coop. We're also going to obviously sell our greenhouse we've got our uh, home it's, it's been a very good to us home I wasn't sure at the start but it has been very good but we will be still uh, staying in staying in a trailer anyway 
or we've got the sell our water butt and it's just the land itself so what we'll do is we'll head up the route and we'll um, sell the sheep so we'll just close this I think we can bring that in there we go and what we'll do is we'll head up to the uh, I think it's the auction house that buys the sheep hopefully um, Hopefully I've got this uh, right. So yeah, so if we head along here, um, I think the animal dealer, is that the auction house? Yeah, I think it is, it's just over there. Um, I'm hoping we get a decent price for the sheep, but who knows. Um, time will tell. But I do I really appreciate the farmers loaning us the tractor and the trailer and obviously the truck as well, because it means that we can keep some of our equipment and hopefully when we start somewhere new, um, we will be in a decent place. Um, I've never actually sold uh, like transported animals like this to sell them, so we'll see if I'm not quite sure if we can sell them. So is this how we sell them? So, yeah, so there we go. Let's sell. Obviously we're not getting as much back. Uh, sell. And sell. Another thing we need to consider as well is I do have that loan now. When we move to the new place, I will be keeping the loan. Um, but what I'm going to do is, depending on how much we make, I'm quite clear down, um, you know, maybe 10, 10 grand or so um, of the loan, just so that we can start paying it off um, and start bringing down the payments. Um, so what we'll do is we'll head back here and then we'll look at selling the equipment we're not taking with us um, which is going to basically be the, the drum weight, the pallet fork and uh, I think, is that it? Is that all we're leaving? The drum weight and the pallet fork? Oh yeah, we've also got the wee trailer as well. So we'll just um, pack this up here and also our water trailer. That's a, um, that's a big thing we need to remember to sell so let's see now if we go to our items so if we're going to return this we don't need this anymore and if we get rid of the tow bar then we don't need that get rid of our weight low loader that's obviously the ones that we've loaned at the moment so we don't need the pallet fork anymore we're returning that we're keeping our front loader tools the animal transport obviously we're loading we don't need our milk and water trailer we're keeping our chainsaw because that will become useful in a new area. We don't need our windrow because we can't take that with us. We're keeping our mower, we're keeping our cedar, we're keeping our plow. We're going to get rid of the wee trailer as well. We're keeping our harvester. We've also got a load of a truck and we've also got a load of the tractor, medium tractor, and we've got two small tractors. So that's pretty much um, all our equipment sold. So I guess kind of what's left to do now is to sell the land and the items in it. So we go to, I think we go to construction and then we'll need to use the mouse a wee bit for this. So if we select demolish and then we select our sheep pen. Yeah, yeah sorry, chicken pasture. There we go. So we will sell that. We will sell that. We also sell our greenhouse as well. And we'll say goodbye to our little home. We'll get 400 for it, it's a bit sad. And we'll get rid of the barn as well, just gives us some extra pennies. And um, yeah, so I guess what's left now is to sell the land. At least, oh no, there's one item, two items I forgot. There's two items I've actually forgot there that we have. So we go back into construction, we need to get rid of our water tank. Sell. Yep. And we've also got this uh, little watch, uh, yeah, so we'll sell that as well. I think if we don't sell that, that will um, stop us from selling the land. So at least we've now uh, got plus eight grand, which is good. So now let's have a look at selling the farmland. So we will sell our home here, so we'll sell that. So that gave us 27. We all sell this land here as well. It gives us 47. So in total, we have 83,000 left. Now, 
things that we want to buy. Obviously, I can go nuts here because, you know, we've got lots of money here. But we need to consider that we do need to buy land at the new place, wherever that is going to be, um, once we find where we're going to move to. So let's start off with buying the little portable home. Um, I think that's probably worse. Now, we could obviously buy um, this kind of over trailer kind of thing, but I think this is the cooler option. Um, I think the only thing we can do is pick the rims. Um, yeah. All right, well, changing room color doesn't add anything, so we'll, we'll go with black. So we'll purchase that. Now, the next thing we want to purchase is we want to get ourselves a vehicle to drive. So we don't want to spend too much because I don't have unlimited funds. Um, I do like the idea of the, uh, the pick up here, but I'm just going to see what else is available. Actually, you know, I, do, I should probably do a quick check in the sales just in case there's something in here. Uh, sadly, it doesn't look like it. That's a uh, bit of a disappointment. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on. We could go for a service truck. Interesting. That's uh, obviously got all the <laughs> it's got all the bits and bobs on it. That's quite cool. I mean, that's only fifty six. That's maybe a consideration. Um, let's see. We've also got the F. 350. I quite like that as well. Is it's a lizard? Oh, I actually do quite like this. Let's see what kind of. So if we go for the automatic, we want a black, brown. Oh, it's interior. Sorry, it's interior. And white. What's the. Ah, oh, see, it's just changing the. I think white looks kind of nice. Although the dashboard would be better with, because it's red. We probably better be going red. Uh, doesn't seem to be red being an option. There is orange, so it kind of matches the uh, front. But let's see. Anyway, maybe if we change the colours. Uh, front girl, 2008. 2008 black. 2008 colourful. Modified. Nice. I quite like the modified one. Oh, wait, I quite like the modified one. Interior colour, black. Ah, that's changing the interior colour. Black and beige. Brown, white, I quite like the white, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, maybe a bit garish, but uh, probably just go for black actually. Uh, metallic bumper, black bumper, I like the black, I think that's a good thing. Primary colour, so I'll whatever colour it is going to be. Secondary colour, oh actually I do like it with secondary colour, it matches the rim. Uh, extensions, what is this? Oh it's like the... Alright, okay. Uh, no, nah, I think we can leave as it is. Lighthouse? What's the lighthouse? Oh, it's the lights itself. Uh, nah, they're fine as they are. Cabin props. What's this? The LED bar, LED bar. A snorkel. Uh, a snorkel plus an LED bar. We'll just leave as standard. Plastic latches. Oh, the door latches, right, okay. Glass and gutters, smoke, smoke free channel. We'll just leave that as standard, I think. Brush, I don't know what that's actually changing. Shaft width, width two, width three. Obviously, kind of wider width. I quite like the wider width, actually. Um, I quite like that, actually. Let's just have a look at the combinations. Let's see. Um, see what we get. So we can get a normal service body. Um, rear hitch, quite like that. We also got a flat bed. What's this boxes? Oh, you get little boxes on the side. Attachers. Uh, fifth wheel one. Probably just leave that standard if you were doing that. Flat bed normal two. What's the difference? Is this a different style? Yeah, it's a different style. We've got normal body as well. Uh, extensions, body kit, standard. Like the body kit, uh, it would have to have the attacher on for us. So we hitch, um, fifth wheel, standard we hitch plus fifth wheel, we hitch, 
where we got is that, is that all there is? But anyway, let's continue on. I probably will go for that. Uh, maybe even go for the one with the crew cab because that's probably more powerful. But anyway, anyway, let's see what else is available. Uh, also, quite like this wee guy. He seems quite nice. Uh, okay, we also got the lizards here. Uh, design stickers, attachers. Again, actually, it's not a bad choice. Um, that's 200 horsepower. What was the other one? That's 300 horsepower. Okay, so that's obviously a lot more horsepower. We could go for the standard, uh, basically, uh, uh, we got Land Rover. Uh, we could also go for something like this. Maybe the TLX 1982 Special. Nice, I quite like, I like that. What's the standard firefighter? Sheriff. Uh, all right, cool. That gives you a big. It's like a big. Uh, we call it. Is that a dog inside there as well? <laughs> it's a dog. Uh, it's funny. Uh, we've also got the vintage. Oh, actually, I quite like the vintage with the uh, big trailer. Can we change any? What's the wheel setups here? So classic rims. Um, let's see. Standard. Classic rims, rear twins. I quite like the rear twins. I actually do quite like that. Is there a way to limit it? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's uh, really nice. Let's see. What's the daylight? I don't know what daylight is. I can't see where that's changing. Uh, not really sure. Lights. I suppose that's lights at the top. So we've got emergency bar, bumper. Robar, <laughs> nice. Uh, combo one, combo two, quite like combo two actually. Uh, winch requires bumper, yes. So, where does the winch go? Is it in the back? Where's the winch? Let's see. So, is it, is it the bumper? Requires bumper. I don't see how we add the bumper on. I will. It's definitely going to be powerful enough. It's <laughs> it'll be super fast. Uh, mm, it's so tempting. I quite like this actually. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, how much it is. Oh, that's really expensive though. But it could be a little. A little treat for ourselves, seeing as how we are uh, giving up our farm. Really tempted by that. See, wheel brand, we've got lizards, swamp, nice, look at that. An off road. <laughs> if you can't tell, I like I, I like big cars, especially kind of big American cars. Uh, nice, I do like that. I might come back to you. Let's just have a look what else. We've got a different version of that. Uh, it's a bit rusty. <laughs> Vintage, limited. So let's see what else we've got. We do have the uh, TLXs here as well. Look at that thing. That's uh, <laughs> look at that. That's kind of crazy. That's getting a bit nuts. Uh, they are not too bad. Oh, monster truck. Living the dream. Living the dream. But we do need something that's. Uh, Road worthy, I think we do need some of road worthy. I'm just gonna look at the combinations because I'm not quite sure what's this. How does that work as a combination? Interesting. We've got a uh, trailer box as well. We've got the flat bed or tipper, uh, tip it open bed. I quite like the. Quite like the idea of the flatbed. So I, I like I like the idea of being able to load it, but I, f I really do like this one. <laughs> I really I really do like this one. I wonder if we could just go for this. If we just go for the uh, I think it was the limited, wasn't it? Yeah, if we go for the limited and we'll go for the slightly bigger engine. Um, you know, five five point seven liter. We will set up. Uh, we will. I quite like the double at the back. Uh, white tires, classic rims, design one, design two. Yeah, I like I like the twin, I like the twin wheels at the back. 
Uh, two different style reveals. Yeah, I, I like it to point that way. I know this is a bit of a, it's a bit of a, an indulgence for. It's not something that we're probably going to need, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you've got to. Obviously, we don't because we don't have a bumper. Um, I'm just curious though for the winch. Uh, does it workhorse? Oh, right. So we go for the workhorse. Ah, right. So if you get the workhorse. Uh, you get the winch, uh, so open frame, it doesn't have the winch, standard, doesn't have the winch either, um, so probably I'm going to stick with my initial gut which is the um, vintage one, uh, yeah sorry not the vintage one, the limited one, that's it, yeah, the, twin, the rear twin wheels, we'll put the daylight on, for the lights, I quite like the combo. Uh, combo three is actually all right. Uh, yeah, combo three is fine. Don't need the winch, and I'm really actually happy with that uh, color. Um, so let's do this. So we do have it leaves us with twenty five, which I think is okay. Uh, what I will do um, is why I remember is we will we pay part of our loan. Um, we'll just replay five grand of it. That leaves us 20. So let's uh, quickly hop over now. Obviously, breaking rope here, but I'm just going to jump to it if we can, just so I can see it. And yeah, there's a thing of beauty. So this is look at it. Is it going to fit on the road? <laughs> just going to check that it fits on the road. Yeah, it fits fine. Obviously, it's uh. Bit bigger uh, at the back, although this might actually is a fair point. Is this going to be a problem to tow our little uh, caravan? Is this going to be a problem if we reverse this up? Did I, I definitely put a pitch on the back? Did I? Yeah, there we go. No, no, that's perfect as it is. So, can we uh, have a look inside of our new home uh, unfold? Let's have a look. So it has unfolded, and this is going to be our new weapon space. Uh, oh well, can we open the window? Oops, that's the wrong button. I think we need to, there is a way to open the window. Uh, is it open the covers or something like that? Open cover. There we go. So we've opened up all the windows. You know, it's actually quite nice. Um, I forgot to turn my phone off there, so that's just Twitter being uh, Twitter does. Uh, yeah, so that looks quite cool. I'm very, I'm very happy with this. I think this is going to be. Uh, so let's uh, take this for a little test drive. So let's close the covers. Uh, can we close the covers? No. Hold that way. Then we'll fold that way. It's all packed up so let's take this for a little drive back to our I would say back to the farm but it's no longer our farm um, it's at least our land here anyway uh, at least it's not our land so let's uh, drive down Greenlands one more time the, the main strip obviously the the seat position uh, the, the car is different it's on the other side oops come on it's kind of thrown me a wee bit. Kind of get caught in the corner there. There we go. We can open her up now. Um, should have decent. I mean, obviously it's got pulling power, but it should have decent uh, it's top speed on it. Because uh, it's a five liter. Uh, ha, ha. Getting really fast. Uh, let's uh, just uh, stop that. But yeah, I think that's it for this uh, episode. Um, what we'll do is we'll head back and we'll take one last look at the farm. Say goodbye to our fields. Um, I had hoped to um, do them, but I never I did get to uh, do that uh, branch, that, that tree. So yeah, this should be big enough to to everything. We might need to call it an all favour um, to have things um, delivered to us because I don't know if we can attach the 
trailers together. It doesn't look like it. Although the to be fair, there is a wee hitch there at the back of the um, caravan, so let's just see if this works. Um, let's reverse this up. I'm never, I'm never good with these uh, kind of dolly style kind of. Uh, you need to watch that reverse. It just, it just seems to want to go. Like it takes a wee second, and it just goes rapid. Uh, let's see, can we line this up? That's not too bad. We're getting better. So can we hitch you up? Yes, we can. And can we hook? So we can't hook our. Because obviously there's nothing in there. But will you be strong enough to pull it? Yeah, that's looking fine. This is <laughs> this is going to be uh, going to be an exciting new venture. So as we've got ourselves a new car, we've managed to keep all of our equipment, and we do have twenty grand to start with. So hopefully we can find uh, somewhere to. Uh, start off some land that's only worth 20 or even 10 but until then cheerie